Keynote is a presentation software developed by Apple. It's free to download on the App Store on any Mac, and it's pretty much like PowerPoint or Google Slides. The great thing about Keynote though is you can make images inside Keynote, logos or icons using Keynote to help you build up visual images. This is an example that of one of my students. One of my students made this spaceman before and I think it looks excellent. He made this spaceman and then he was able to animate it moving across the screen. You can see here I've made something really simple. Maybe this is an atom. You can see that we have different particles. They're just circles changed to different colors. To make this, I would go to shapes, select a shape with, which is a circle. If I come over here to style, I can change the color. I can get really granular with the color. I can change it based on all different types of ways to change the color. Um, I'm just gonna leave it red for now. I can then copy and paste this circle and change the color. And I can copy and paste the circle again and change the color. And I think it was white before. So I can select white here from a color palette. The white was in the background before. So if I right click on the white circle, I can send the white circle to the back and now I have my atom. If I select all and right click, I can group it, and now it's one image and I can move it around. Now, if I wanted to use this as an icon or a logo, I need to make sure that my background is transparent. So if I come over, if I click on my background, and on the background setting over here, if I select no fill, now my background will be transparent. In order to export this, I can go to File, Export to Images. Now to export a transparent background, an image with a transparent background, I either need a PNG or a TIFF. So I can change it to one of these two and then it gives me a tick box here, Export with Transparent Background. And if I click Next, it's going to ask me where I want to export it. So I'm going to say My Desktop and I'm going to call it Icons. And if I export this now and I go to my desktop, you can see here is an example with the transparent background. You can get really creative. So here I've made houses just by layering up a whole bunch of different shapes on top of each other. What this consists of is a rectangle and then a triangle. And I wanna make sure it's the same color, obviously. And I can then make a blue house. I can add in white rectangles for the doors and windows and so on. I can zoom in and out by pinching on my trackpad. I can then make a white window over here as a square. And now I've got multiple houses in my neighborhood. Here I've made a person. You can see this consists of just rounded rectangles like this one, but multiple rounded rectangles layered on top of each other and a circle for the head. You can see here I used that same, these a lot of these same shapes in order to make a hand. Here I'm trying to make a sprocket or a cog. The really nice thing about this is you can get very specific with your image. So here you can make it transparent if you'd like. If we come over here to arrange, we can rotate this to any angle that we like. Maybe we want it 325 degrees, and we can get it exactly 325 degrees. If we want it zero degrees, we can see it faces up. If we want to flip it, we can flip it around really easily with that, with those little buttons. And this is the position on the screen. So you can see this moves based on the position on the screen or the size of the icon. 
here you can put it in the front or the back of the image so I can send it to the back if I like or the front or I can move it layers down and it will slowly go to the back. Now it's hidden at the back of that image. So that's just some basic ways that you can work with shapes to create your own images or icons. Um, after you've created your images and icons as well, you can actually animate them. That will be a story for another video. That up here is the animation button and then you can get your icons to move across your screen if you like. And then you can export them as a movie if you like or a GIF. Um, but they're a little bit more advanced features Okay, good luck.